Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today for Grace with Paul Gray. In keeping with our leading up to Mother's Day in the United States this week, I want to read to you a little story that a guy by the name of Dean Delker wrote, um, and it's been making the rounds in Facebook this week. And he's referring to the passage uh, in Acts chapter 17, verse 28, where the Apostle Paul met these super religious people in Athens. They worshipped all these different gods and idols and carvings and stuff. They didn't want to miss out on any of them. And Paul said, hey, I want to introduce you to the real God, the one you call the unknown God. And he said, in him, we all live and move and have our being. So here's the story based on that that Dean wrote. In a mother's womb were two babies. One asked the other, do you believe in life after delivery? The other replied, why, of course, there has to be something after delivery. Maybe we're here to prepare ourselves for what we will be later. Nonsense, said the first. There is no life after delivery. What kind of life would that be? The second said, well, I don't know, but there'll be more light than there is here. Maybe we'll walk with our legs and eat from our mouths. Maybe we'll have other senses that we can't understand now. The first replied, that's absurd. Walking is impossible and eating with our mouths, ridiculous. The umbilical cord supplies nutrition and everything we need but the umbilical cord is so short, we can't walk. Life after delivery is to be logically excluded. The second insisted, well, I think there's something, and maybe it's different than what it is here. Maybe we won't need this physical cord anymore. First replied, nonsense. And moreover, if there is life, then why has no one ever come back from there? Delivery is the end of life. And in the after delivery, there's nothing but darkness and silence and oblivion. It takes us nowhere. Well, I don't know, said the second. Certainly we will meet mother and she will take care of us. The first replied, mother? You actually believe in mother? <laughs> That's laughable. If mother exists, then where is she now? The second said, she's all around us. We're surrounded by her. We are of her. It's in her that we live and move and have our being. Without her, this world would not and could not exist. Said the first, I don't see her. So it's only logical that she doesn't exist. To which the second re replied, sometimes when you're in silence and you focus and you really listen, you can perceive her presence and you can hear her loving voice calling down from above. Pretty good story, isn't it? Hope you all are preparing for a great Mother's Day this weekend in one way or another, including mothers, your mother or others' mothers or your spouses or whoever, uh, the mother of your children in a, a special uh, celebration this Sunday. And if you're not, know that God, who is father and mother and everything to all of us is with you and in you and you are in God and God loves you so much and you're the apple of God's eye. Love you all. See you next time.